Now in this task, we want to uh, measure the efficiency, but for different uh, diodes, we want to choose one which is fast and one which is slow because we want to see the energy that it's wasted during the reverse recovery. Does it affect the efficiency or no? So now by right click on this diode, I think we have different uh, diodes here. And I think we can change the classification of these days according to the type. So now let's write, let's click on the type. We find that the selected diode that we already have in our circuit is a Schutke diode, okay? The Schutke diode is fast and has nearly zero uh, reverse recovery time, which is great. But the problem is it doesn't work with high voltage, okay? So yeah, it's, it's rated as 100 volt and our circuit is 50 volt, which is quite fine. But if we have different circuits, which is these with more than 100 volts, so I can't actually choose a uh, shoot diode, okay? So now we have now the efficiency figure for the shoot diode circuit, and we can now go up and below, okay, to see what other uh, diodes we have. We have fast recovery diode here, a list of fast recovery diode. We have, forget this lid, we have a rectifier diode. Rectifier diode means the normal uh, power diodes, which are slow, okay? Uh, and should key diode, and then we have a silicon diode, okay? I think these are general, but I'm not sure if they are classified as fast or slow. And we have switching diodes. I think these switching diodes are classified as fast because uh, they are um, optimized to be switched from on and, and off with very uh, short recovery, uh, reverse recovery time. And we have Zener. We don't need Zeners in this circuit, okay? So now we have rectifier circuit, rectifier diode, and fast recovery diode, and Schutke diode. Okay, so now let's go to... Uh, we finished the, just remember the, the figure of the efficiency here and write it down. And I can copy this just for our record, okay? And just make a symbol here, shot key, is this amount of efficiency, okay? Efficiency equals this one. So now we'll add just for our record. And now we will choose different one it should, how we choose it, it should maybe have the same ratings, about 100 volt, 100 uh, and 10 ampere, just to make it the comparison quite uh, fair. So now let's go to rectifier region. Okay. And do we have any 100 volt? I think none of them 100 volt. So let's choose the lowest, which is 400. Volt and 10 ampere. Do we have 10 ampere? I think this is the maybe the closest one. Okay, 400 volt, 6 ampere. And now let's just right click, and everything is similar apart from that one. So now let's run the simulation and see the efficiency. So the simulation has finished now, and go to view and spice error log. And I think, yeah, we got the efficiency figure. It's 92, okay? Now let's add it to our notes. Okay, so now control enter and say here a uh, power diode or normal diode or rectifier diode, which is not optimized for switching. The efficiency is 92, okay? Which is, yeah, it's, 4%, 5% lower than the Schutke uh, one. Let's now select one which is fast recovery diode. And let's choose it about 100 volt and 10 ampere. I think, yeah, we, we, we struggle to find similar, but yeah, we have 10 ampere, 200 volt here. Okay. So you can, you can select any others if you want, but I, I hope you select the same as mine just to make it the, the, the results consistent, okay? And let's click on this and re-simulate and see if it finished. Yeah, I think 
view and see the efficiency here and that's for fast recovery diode so now let's add this fast so we have to control enter fast recovery diode the efficiency equals about 96 so now let's just make it from uh, make the lower first control enter and then this one and that that's one so yeah we will now make a comparison between them so yeah we can say that the shoot diode is the best for this application okay and it provides higher efficiency than the uh, fast recovery diode and rectifier the fast recovery diode is very close to the shoot diode okay but why sometimes we use fast recovery diode because if we are targeting higher voltages or higher currents so so that's why we use that one if we are within the 100 volt we can use the shoot k diode but they they are very close to each other so if you make a choice to use always fast recovery diode i think why not because yeah it's very close to the shoot k diode but they are far away from the rectifier diode which is not optimized for switching and the fast recovery time is longer and that makes the energy uh, losses higher than others maybe four percent more which is quite significant if we design a buck converter even with low or higher power ratings